good morning. Good Monday morning. Monday, fun day. I think it is day for shelter in place. So that's pretty nuts. We've made it a very long way. So this morning I just want to offer you some family encouragement. While you all were out hiking in the beautiful hills of the Bay Area and frolicking with your lovely family and your labradoodles and your shelter dogs, my family was home. Mm, how do you say? Discussing, arguing, debating, working through a situation that we're having in our family for a solid 15 minutes about something very important and it's called juice. Uh, exhibit A, B, and C right here. Um, let's see, I gotta get them in order before I show you. This is exhibit A. Can you see that? First of all, who drinks almost all of the juice and then puts it back in the fridge? Who does that? Savages, that's who, that's who we're raising in our house. While you're doing your puzzles, we're fighting about juice, okay. So that's exhibit A. Exhibit B, mango passion fruit juice. Nobody likes that. It's been in our fridge for two weeks. But the cran apple, oh, you can't touch this. So here's the situation. The people in my house who will go unnamed are consuming exorbitant amounts of juice. And normally we don't stock juice in the house, but because we do stupid things during this shelter in place, we bought a bunch of juice, a couple gallons or so. And we just let it be a free for all. And that my friends is what it was. Every night at dinner, let's pour 42 ounces of juice, even though mom made this great meal. Okay, wait, no, water at dinner, what are you doing? Um, and certain family members enjoy juice more than others. So that the juice people that wanna go have it every once in a while, when they go to have it, it's gone. So we had to put some martial law in place. We had to take extreme measures and go to, look, two glasses of juice per week. Well, what size glass? And then they mix it with their bubbly water, so then it's very deceitful. Well, I only had a quarter of my juice ration. So basically, we're, we're blowing up over here about juice rationing. Two glasses a week, but somehow 64 ounces are gone when it's, the math's not adding up because obviously we're not homeschooling them well either. This, this homeschool's not working because they can't do math. So here is what it has come to in my family. We are now, we've, we, after our special debate, my husband came up with a great solution. How about we just pre-ration it and then here's your allotment for the week. So please forgive me for this looking like urine, it's not. And this is one child's ration of juice. So now there's no argument of like, where did all the juice go? Oh, we had two cups, right. So this is one child's, they get this is for a week. This is what they get, it's apple juice, it's apple juice. Um, also, hopefully we'll avoid people putting empty containers in the fridge. Um, and then again, back to the mango passion fruit, for some reason, this is not going anywhere. So if you are interested in some mango passion fruit, we do have probably about mm, 10 ounces left that nobody in our family seems to want. So hopefully you're enjoying your time, sheltering in place with your family, holding hands, singing songs, doing family games, making sweet treats together, and you're not home like me fighting about juice and then having to ration it in a jar. Do you feel better about yourself? Because that's the goal. Happy Fun Day Monday. See you on Wednesday for a Facebook Live that's maybe a little more helpful and informative. I don't know. Um, and then Wednesday night, I'm going to be on this local church, Community Presbyterian Church. They've been doing a really cool thing on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., They've been speaking to community leaders. They had Last week it was a family physician and the head of ER at San Ramon Hospital. The week before that it was the chief of police and the head of chamber of commerce. This Wednesday it's me. <laughs> Fooled them. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to be talking about something. Myself and then a professional counselor, counselor therapist. So I don't know. I guess I'll just show up and be like, Hi, I'm Wendy. I'm with Tina's team. Let me give you all my wisdom. So come support me in my juice life and Tina Steam on Wednesday night at seven o'clock on Facebook. And then I will be back to you at one o'clock here with some insight. I'm not sure what it is yet. So come back Wednesday, 1 p.m. on Tina Steam's webpage 
and then 7 p.m. on CPC Danville. I think that's their handle, CPC Danville at 7. All right, Monday out. Enjoy your week.